Hey everybody, I'm James. I started this channel because one day I woke up and realized I was 43 and felt like I was 83. Every day my body could do one less thing than it could do the day before. So if you're like me and you've had enough, then put on your shoes and welcome to Getting Stronger. Hey everybody and welcome back to Getting Stronger, especially you brummy jumpers. So it's Friday morning and this is the time that I record my jump rope follow along workout of the week. Now it's kind of been a rough start this morning. Went all the way to the gym to start filming and I got there and realized I didn't bring my camera. Came all the way back home, got my camera, went all the way back and realized the battery was dead. So now I'm back home. So this morning we're gonna be filming outside here in my backyard. It's a perfect morning. It's really cold and crisp, but there's no wind, no rain, and I got tons of sunshine. So this week's workout is gonna focus on endurance. We're gonna be using some of the lighter ropes. I have the one quarter pound rope, and I have the half pound rope. So if you were doing that in ounces, this would be four ounces, this would be an eight ounce rope. Now since we're focusing on endurance, it's gonna be about 22 minutes long. It's gonna be just straight jumping. We don't need any other equipment. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a few minutes to kind of warm up and then we're gonna get right into the workout. Get ready. Next up, freestyle jump. You know, and today we're gonna do something a little different. While I'm waiting for this, we're not gonna have any music playing, right? It's gonna be the birds, the cars passing by, and the uh, timer. Here we go, just keep it up, okay? So today, no music. Let's just talk our way through this workout together. Next up, rest. Rest. Here we go. Always playing music in all these videos. Everybody's always playing music. Forget the music, let's just talk about it today. So the ground is definitely kind of weird. The ground's uneven. I can feel my rope hitting different. I can feel my feet hitting different, but that's okay. Just challenges my brain a little bit more. So I'm trying to stay focused. You stay focused too, okay? Freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. Another 30 seconds. Freestyle is off of the right, off the left, off the right, off the left. Try to stay up on your toes. You can see I'm off my right and off my left. So it's kind of an alternating bounce. You know, right, left, right, left, right, left. Kind of weird because my right foot's landing lower than my left foot because of the ground, but that's okay. Next up, freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. Then get into that rhythm and then start bouncing. Like right, 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 left, right, right, left, right. There you go. Kind of like calling out cadence. Right, 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 left, right, 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 left, right. Next up, rest. Rest. Ooh. 
another funny variable is uh, it was really cold out here at night. So all the ground's frozen. So my mats kind of have a little bit of ice on it. So I'm very aware that I'm stepping on some pretty slippery surface. So a lot of, uh, a lot of variables when you're outside, right? Freestyle jump. Once you find that rhythm, try to pick up your pace a little bit. It's okay, Peter. If you can't find it, just go slow. Next right? Time. If you can, try to pick it up a little bit. Make it more challenging. Okay, we're gonna be changing ropes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. That's the great thing about this cross rope system. You just pull the handles right off. Next up, change ropes. Change ropes. Put them right on the other uh, rope. Now these handles are the slimmer handles. They're not made for the heavier ropes, so if you go online to buy the heavier ropes, the one pound and above, you're going to need thicker handles. But that's okay, they come with it. Next up, freestyle jump. Okay, so now we're at the uh, half pound. Freestyle jump. Okay, I got my rhythm. Here we go. Get that rope moving. Really try to stay light on your feet. Next up, rest. Rest. Yeah, really, really try to stay light on your feet. Feel that bounce back and forth. From the right to the left, right to the left, right to the left, right? It's like a boxer. That's why boxers love the jump rope. It's got that same, right? Pow! Right? Same kind of feeling. Next up, freestyle jump. My mats are moving. Freestyle jump. Here we go. The mats are supposed to interconnect, but they're not interconnecting. They're not locking properly, so they're kind of sliding. Okay, got my rhythm. Let's go. That's right, keep pushing. 15 seconds. Notice how my hands stay the same. My hands don't move. Notice when I jump, my hands stay right at about waist high. So everybody's different. And the length of your rope is different. So sometimes my hands are lower, sometimes my hands are higher. But wherever you get to that feels comfortable, stay there. If you're here, Stay there. If you're here, stay there. Freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. 
Okay, think I got my rhythm? Here we go. You can really hear this heavier rope going through the air. Stay light on your feet. Make sure you're landing on the front part of your foot. If you land on the front part of your foot, like up near the toes, and you stay up on your toes, that uh, allows your calf muscle to absorb all the uh, impact. Next up, freestyle jump. It protects your knees. Ten more seconds. Kind of feel like maybe better off with just one. Let me try to just stay in this one little square, see how that goes. Next see up, if I have enough space. Oh, we're changing ropes. Back to the quarter pound again. Change ropes. Okay, here we go, back to the lighter rope. Freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. Notice how the rope is going around because of my wrists, not my arms. Ten more seconds. Find your rhythm. Okay, start bouncing. Left, right, left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Get that cadence, call it out. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Now just try to pick up the pace. Left, right, left. Was there? Ooh, in that last jump, my left ankle kind of slipped and rolled a little bit. Gotta be careful when you're outside. When you're out here, freestyle jump. It's much less controlled than when you're inside a gym.
Ой, You saw, I made a mistake. That's all right. Just uh, get your rope moving again, get your head back in the game. Next up, freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. I always like to kind of start out slow, get my rhythm, and then pick it up. You know, jumping rope is all about rhythm. So sometimes it takes a few seconds to get that rhythm before you pick up your pace. But if you need to, just slow it down. It's all right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. As you get that rhythm, then you can pick it up a little bit. Almost there. Only about six more minutes to go. Next up, change ropes. Change ropes. Okay, back to the uh, half pound. Now, if you don't have Different weights of ropes, that's fine. Just use the rope that you have. But just try to uh, make it a little bit more challenging. Try to go a little faster. One thing you can do, if you don't have a heavier rope, is go spend a little bit of money on some of those ankle weights. Anchor weights will make it more challenging or, you know, the weights you can put around your uh, wrist. Anything to try to make it more challenging. I have two five pound ankle weights that sometimes I put around my feet, make it more challenging. But of course, if you jump up a lot and you follow this channel, I would seriously encourage you, I would seriously encourage you to invest in some really good ropes of different weights. Next up, freestyle jump. Yeah, I'm really working now. Sun's coming up. It's getting warmer. The ice on my mats are starting to kind of melt away. Okay, we only got about three and a half minutes to go. Keep pushing, okay? Try to use these periods of rest to drink some water. Next up, freestyle jump. Freestyle jump.
Now, if you can tell, when I jump, I tend to hold my hands up a little bit above my waist, up about here. That's because my rope is a little bit longer. The longer the rope is, the higher you have to hold your hands. The shorter the rope, the lower you have to hold your hands. So with my ropes, freestyle jump. I'm comfortable right about here. My elbows are almost at a 90 degree angle. That's where I feel the most comfortable. At least with these ropes. That had a different rope that was shorter or a rope that was longer. I have to change my hand position. Almost done. Minute and a half to go. Next up, freestyle jump. Freestyle jump. So we're coming down to the end of the workout. Try to push through. Try to speed up a little bit. There we go, guys. That's the workout. Now, just allow your body to cool down as the timer continues to tick down to the end. Just continue to let your body now start to cool down. Cool down. Do some stretches now, some static stretching. Cool down. Uh, do not do static stretching at the beginning. Good job, guys. Workout complete. Way to go, way to stay with it. So that's it. That's the workout of the week for the uh, jump rope. Not too uh, complicated, just straight jumping. I hope you give it a shot and give it your all. Remember the idea is to try this workout more than once. Try it on Sunday and try it several times during the week and see if you find yourself getting stronger and becoming a more efficient jump roper. So until next time, remember Psalms 139 verse 14 tells us that each and every one of us were fearfully and wonderfully made and we come from the hand of our creator above that's right and being outside and hearing the birds and seeing the trees and the grass and feeling the sunshine on my face it reminds me of how much our heavenly father loves us remember god loves you and he wants you to be happy and happy means healthy so for the rest of this day and on through the weekend whatever you eat whatever you drink and whatever you do that's right just keep getting stronger and i'm out of here Enjoy your weekend.